Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to put a Mini Cooper S 2002-2006 into front end service mode. First thing you need to do is remove these, uh, these four plastic lugs here. One, two, three, four. Uh, just for the front half of the wheel, wheel well liner. You don't need to remove the other ones, you just need to separate it from the bumper itself. Also there's one, there's one screw under here. Uh, this one right here, you don't need to remove these ones, you only need to remove that one. And then also remove these 10 millimeters, there's one, two, three across. And then on the top, under here, there's an 8 millimeter head screw on each side. And then here there's a Torx, I think it's about a Torx T25, so remove all of those. All right, that's all the bolts for the bumper. Now you just pull it forward, uh, hold it in place, and disconnect all of the uh, wiring. There's three lights on each side, and then also the temperature sensor. Looks like someone installed this one backwards last time. Okay, and then you set the bumper aside. All right, next is pull the wiring through, and then remove all of these 13 millimeter bolts. There's one, two, three, four, five on, on each side. One of them is a bolt, the, other, the others are nuts. On the 2002 and 2003 cars, they also have um, these radiator alignment brackets as well. So remove those and set them aside. Now just pull the bumper straight off. Put the bumper aside next to the bumper cover. Now you want to find a couple of uh, screws that you can screw into this uh, single uh, threaded hole. So you can pull the bumper forward. Disconnect this uh, air intake. This one, the clamp is missing. Uh, remove the crash tube, 10 millimeter bolts underneath here. One on each side. Next, we'll remove the, the skid plate. After you've taken the 10 millimeter bolts out, there's just two 90 degree screws on each side, and that slides right out. The next is a 16 millimeter socket to remove the crash tubes. Tap them out with a dead blow hammer. Now we can pull the bumper forward onto the long screws. And 
And it looks like it's hung up on the horn wiring, so we'll just disconnect that. So that's all that's necessary to get it into the front end service mode. Uh, if you need more access, then you might need to take the front radiator off, so continue watching for that. All right, there's no drain plug on the Mini Cooper, so uh, what we need to do is uh, actually just loosen the bottom radiator hose and it will all come draining out. Uh, to make it flow more easily, we can loosen this uh, bleeder valve here and also take the lid off of the radiator reservoir, the coolant reservoir. Then we have to climb under the car. And loosen the bottom radiator clamp, radiator hose clamp. Squeeze, slide it up out of the way. Get your bucket ready. Okay, so we want to, after we've taken off the radiator condenser, which has two 10 million volts on the front here, one 10 million volt here to loosen the uh, charge, charge connector, the electrical wiring, uh, pull the wires through here. If your car has fog lights, don't forget to disconnect the uh, fog light as well. Same thing on the other side. Pull all the wires through. Fog light. Now we can just pull, simply pull the radiator away. Take care not to spill the leftover fluid in there. I like to pull the bucket out and tilt it over to allow any to drain so it doesn't spill everywhere. If you if you but if you've recently changed your coolant and you don't want to buy new coolant, you can run this through a coffee filter and then put it back in the car. All right, set the radiator aside. All right, now we have, now we have good access to the front of the motor. And from here we can do lots of things. Service the air conditioner, alternator, supercharger, um, fix any vacuum leaks, uh, today we're going to do the crank position sensor O-ring and uh, change the knock sensor which is behind the supercharger itself.